What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode or race in our NASCAR Heat Evolution Career Mode series. We are at Dover. Last race at Kansas, we qualified ninth and we finished twelfth, which is freaking awesome. I was not expecting that. We did buy the new part, which is the CAD software. Um, we need seventy grand for the engine shop. So hopefully, the next two races we can get that. We're gonna get to the sponsor really quick, and I really feel like we can get a top fifteen. I really do. So, and then I feel like, let's do top 15 as well. And I feel like we can get a top 15 definitely here at Dover. So uh, let's head to the race, guys. All right, let's see how we do. There was kind of a risk going for a top 15. I would feel really stupid if we qualify like in the 30s. That'd make for a long race. So let's see, we are 16th in points right now. We are 5th in the chase standings if we were to start today. There's only 5 drivers have won a race so far. Let's see how this, let's see how this goes. Really loose. Really loose. Okay. I was able to get back to the gas pretty well right there. And let's see what we get. Third. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, are you serious? Freaking third, guys. Wow. Really surprising. Really surprising. So, okay, I'll talk after the, after the intro, guys. Monster Mile, located in Dover, Delaware, is a handful for veterans and rookies alike. This one-mile concrete oval is a self-cleaning racetrack with banking so high it's described as a roller coaster ride by the drivers. Momentum is a key to winning at Dover, but Miles the Monster lurks around every corner, waiting for you to make a mistake. So this is also a chase race. It is in round one. Things like the second race. So really excited about how we are so far in third but another big thing for this track is that the lap traffic plays a huge part in it um we're gonna catch lap traffic pretty quick so if we can race this thing like we did at bristol you know i'm feeling pretty good about our chances already so let's just get settled in here really quick and just see how we do I can already tell my car is way looser now than it was in qualifying. Of course, that draft is playing a big difference, though, coming off the bush. I tried looking on the outside to see if there's any grip up there, but there is not yet, so. Too early. But I definitely feel like we get through lap traffic way better than they do. So whenever we do hit them, um, that'll be our definitely our chance to do something. Just want everybody to get spread out a little bit. And the Gano right up our ass. See if we can't get by a boy or two real quick. Ooh, really loose, really loose. Stay low. Still there. And made a little mistake. The gun is going to get by us now. Clear low. He's running too low for me to do anything. I tried pumping him out of the way. Here comes Mr. Concrete Carl. Right behind. bit there's no point in us really fighting these guys too hard again with the lap traffic I feel like we're gonna have a good chance to battle these guys Still 
Alright, back to the bottom. There's like nobody behind us now. big gap back there. I don't see anybody behind Boyer. Man, my car's getting really tight going to that corner. I can't hold it on the bottom at all. Don't know if we can hold this on the outside. No, we gotta get off a little bit. Nope, I don't see anybody back there. What the hell? Three seconds back. I feel really confident about getting a top 10 here, though. To go. Well, I, I really think a top 5. Maybe even winning, because that guy, he's just right there. Is that Logano? He's not pulling away or anything. We'll just see how, when lap traffic comes in, how that plays into it. Because they might blow by them, and they might get held up really bad, like Kenza did at Bristol. Man, got off that corner really good. Oh, Boyer, he just wants me to have the spot. Ooh, really, really drove that sucker in there. All clear. All high. Wasn't quite clear, didn't wreck though, so. No harm done. He is pushing me hard right now. Oh my god, dude. Just let me have it. Man. He's tried taking me out and wrecking me just for the spot. I don't see any lap traffic though. Yep, there they are. They're coming. And how are they looking behind us? Still three seconds back. Junior has made his way through. So he might catch us here in a little bit. Man, got a good run right there. <laughs> yeah, Junior and Jimmy Johnson are back there, it looks like. We are coming up to halfway. Okay, that's the halfway mark now. And let the lap traffic begin. Look at them all spreading out. Oh lord, I sense a wreck. Oh baby, this makes me happy. Oh my god, almost wrecked though. <clears throat> I think I can start to see Junior back there. Boy, you're having a tough time. We're gonna go on the outside of him. God, that's why I just love Dover, man. You can't run the second line if you have to get around somebody. So he'll pick up one spot in lap traffic so far. Let's see, Harvick. He's going around on the outside. Probably going to do the same.
Really just don't have time. Don't want Junior and Johnson catching us. Yeah, Harvick, he's making quick work of these guys. All right, nine to go. Oh, there is a little bit of traffic right there they're getting held up on. Looks like Hargo was able to make it around Edwards. In these past five or six races, guys, we've really stepped it up. Stay low. Still there. All clear. You know, got a handful of top tens, handful of top fifteens, got a win, got a pole. Stay low. Still there. All clear. I think this is our third consecutive top ten start. Qualified first at Bristol, qualified ninth. Oh wait, no, actually take that back. Forgot about Talladega. Never mind. But still, though, like ninth at Kansas, third here, first at Bristol. <clears throat> really glad, glad we made that uh, bet on our sponsors. Looks like Junior has made it through. He's a second back now. Harvick seven, it's up time with this guy. Five laps to go. Hope we can hold him up for just a little bit longer. No, he's not going to. Man, Junior is flying. Of course, McDowell like really picks it up in that corner so Junior can get by us. <clears throat> I thought I was going to be able to clear him on the high side, but no. He decides he wants to go faster all of a sudden. Freaking crazy. There we go. Carl Edwards is slowing way down. Harvick blew by him. Junior's going by him. Oh, wait, that's not. Oh, that's a. Uh, Who's that? Biffle. Here comes Boyer. Coming up to the last lap, we are running seventh. I think we were better hold off Boyer, though. So Kansas and oh god no, <laughs> Kansas and Dover are both part of the uh, first round in the chase. So if we can get a top ten at Kansas and a top ten here, how the hell did Boyer just blow? I wasn't even paying attention. Eighth, I wasn't even paying attention. I got started talking. So if we can finish two top tens in the chase, doing that in Chicago land, I'm not sure how we're gonna run there. But I feel like we'll be able to make it to round two pretty easily. <clears throat> oh, look at that. I'm curious how much money we're going to get. Kurt Busch won the race. I think that might be his first win. 27 grand. Another five grand. Oh, sweet. Nearly 50 grand just from that one race. So that is Kurt Busch's first win. 
this is probably going to put us in the top 15 in points now. Yep. 15th. Right there behind Breck has lost for 14th. So we could probably make it in on points. Right now we could. <coughs> All right, so let's finish this up. Um, let's see how much money we have total. Next race is at Charlotte. 79 grand, so next race we will be able to buy the new one. So uh, thank you guys for watching so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. We've been finishing surprisingly well here lately. But uh, I will see you guys at Charlotte. Tell them that.